engineer at Curtains, graduate member of the Institution of Civil Engineers and uh, chair of the ICE Northwest Graduates and Students Committee. Central Plaza was completed in 1992 uh, as a 78-storey high building with a total height of 374 metres. Although today it is the 44th tallest building in the world, it used to be the tallest structure in Asia between 1992 and 1996. When the land was reclaimed, at a record-breaking price by the way, the engineers on the schemes were appointed. At that time, no specific design brief had been provided. Now, as engineers, we're often required to think ahead, think out of the box and find solutions to problems we can anticipate. So, the engineers identified a few key issues. First of all, uh, there was a need for a massive basement for car parking spaces. Secondly, the client really wanted the building to be a triangular in plan. So that meant that um, two-thirds of the office accommodation gave amazing harbour views and the final third gave really good mountain and city views. Due to the massive costs in getting the land, it meant that construction had to start, progress and be completed as soon as possible. Shortly after that, the full design team uh, was appointed, so architects, engineers, contractors, everyone was working together to make sure that this project was completed in time. There are 39 columns on every typical floor which uh, holds the structure together. We have a big concrete core. Um, there's a transfer level which, ex which is present due to the need to take the loads from the top to the foundations but also because we needed like an open space at the lower levels. Um, the building is clad in fully glazed glass panels and interestingly at night we have neon lights that create a cat scratch effect. So that's the design of the building. Now and the key issue that is very important to bear in mind is that this building was to be in Hong Kong which is known to be in a very strong typhoon climate. So that meant um, this building had to be designed such that it could take very high wind forces due to typhoon if a typhoon was present. And it was also important to make sure that the cladding itself, which is, um, uh, was able to take very strong loads due to the wind, it was important to make sure that it behaved correctly, dynamically. Now, what do I mean by this? It simply means that if, say, someone is at the very top floor, that person should not be experiencing motion sickness or any discomfort for that matter. So the engineers had to do loads of calculations, uh, tests, just to make sure that this structure was behaving as it's meant to be. Very interestingly, for the very first time, high strength concrete was introduced and this was mostly because we wanted to finish the project as soon as possible. So having been very innovative, innovative is one of the key things that civil engineers strive to be. So um, the introduction of the high strength concrete meant that it, the building could reach its strength as soon as possible and allow for further construction. Within 20 months of the of Central Plaza getting out of the ground, the superstructure was fully built. And this project is just a remarkable example of how really good uh, team coordination, uh, working together, our engineers, architects, contractors all working together, it led to leaving behind a lasting legacy which still that stands today. And this, this feeling of you know, you're working on a project that's going to stay there hopefully forever it is one of the main reasons why I, I really like my job. I kind of fell into civil engineering, I didn't really know what it meant before um, starting to study it, so I just, uh, all, I've always really liked maths, loved maths, loved the sciences, engineering being an applied science. Um, it just appealed to me and because I could relate to buildings the most, I decided to go and study civil and structural engineering. And I have to be honest, I've not regretted my decision one day since I took it. Every day at work is different, uh, I've not worked on any two same projects. I just really like the fact that, you know, I, I can say very proudly that I've designed a building and this is just an amazing feeling you get when you're a civil or structural engineer.